Hello and welcome to Physical Stretches. My name is Debbie and I'm here to take you through a couple of wonderful stretches to help melt away some of the stress that may be hiding in your body. Before we get started, let's get comfortable. Remember to listen to your body. It's all about relaxation and whatever feels good for you. Hello everyone, it's time to give your head, neck and shoulders a bit of a break. So just come to a comfortable seated position on your chair. So spine is upright, relax your shoulders. From here, we're just gonna take that right hand to cross on top of the left. In your own time, left hand is underneath the right, bend into the elbow. So now in this position, you might feel a little bit of a pulling sensation into your right triceps, right outer arm, shoulder, and then maybe a little bit into your upper back as well. Okay, so just feeling into that space here. Keep your posture upright, keep your shoulders relaxed. We're gonna just stay and breathe here for five breaths. So in your own time, breath of one, Nice, big inhale, slow exhales, breath of two, breath of three, just another two more big breaths, last big breath here, okay, keeping your hands exactly where they are with the left elbow under the right elbow, you're going to start to just bring the palms back to back, so fingers are pointing upwards to the ceiling. This will be your option one, we call this the eagle arms. You can stay here with the shoulders relaxed or if it feels comfortable for your shoulders and your elbows, you can cross one more time so the palms are facing each other. Okay, if this doesn't work, you know you can always modify to this position. Now from here, what we're gonna do is keep the shoulders grounded. We're gonna try and work with this uh, movement here. So inhales, the hands will reach upwards. Exhales, we're gonna fold the body forward. All right, so we're going to do this just three times. So in your own time, finding your eagle arm position, whether the hands are back to back or maybe the palms are touching. Checking for a moment, shoulders remain grounded, shoulders are not lifted. Let's go here for three times. On your inhale, reach the fingers up. Exhale, we begin to fold the body forward. The hands do not need to touch your thighs. Coming back up, two more sets. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, folding forward. Last one here, inhale, rising back up. Exhale, we fall back down. Come back into a neutral position from here and release your hands. Set them down onto your thighs for a moment. You can go ahead and roll out your shoulders. We take one big breath here. Okay, let's work on the other side. So now this time, left hand starts to cross on top of the right. Right elbow is under the left. Begin to bend into the elbow. So now you might feel it into your left tricep left shoulder, left upper back, okay? So just keeping the posture upright here. Breathing here for just five breaths. Take your time, breath of one. Breath of two, keeping your breaths nice and full, so awareness into the breath. Breath of three. Just another two more. Last big breath here. Okay, keeping your hands exactly where they are, we start to bring the hands, the fingers pointing upwards to the ceiling. So go ahead and adjust if you need to. Left elbow is on top of the right. So again, option one, back to back. Option two, have the palms to touch. Okay, it may not be the same on both sides, so just find something that works for you here. Checking that shoulders remain grounded. Whenever you're ready, we'll do three rounds of the lift and lower. Okay, when you're ready, inhale, take the hands up. On your exhale, we begin to fold forward, spine rounds down. Two more sets of this, inhale, coming back up, shoulders remain grounded. Exhale, folding. Last big breath here, inhale, coming up. Exhale, we fold forward. Then come back into center, release your hands, set them down onto your thighs. You can roll out your shoulders, just get comfortable here, you can close your eyes. Let's take two big breaths here. Breath of one, just feeling into any sensations, into the shoulders, the back, maybe the arms. Last big breath here. Okay, begin to blink your eyes open. Now from here, we're gonna start to stand up. Adjust your chair so that you're facing the chair back. Okay, so maybe this position. Now just for a moment, adjust yourself. So think of a arm's length away from your chair. You can hold on to any part of your chair, okay? So whether it's here, whether it's here, whatever that feels the most solid for you. Now from here, what's gonna happen is keep your elbows straight. 
If possible, keep your legs straight, otherwise you can micro bend your knees like this. Okay, so whatever feels good here. We're not working to hamstring, so that's not the focus. From here, we begin to keep the elbows straight, melt the chest. So think of your head coming in between your shoulders here. If your hamstrings are comfortable, you can keep your legs straight. Otherwise, soften your knees. We're working really deep into the shoulders. Elbows as straight as you can here. Now, whenever you're comfortable, let's be here just for five breaths. Breath of one. Breath of two. You do not have to go any deeper. You can stay exactly where you are. Know that don't pass your limit, yeah? So just stretch to whatever feels the best. Breath of three. Last two big breaths. We take just one more breath here. And begin to release. Coming back up. Now from here, I'm just going to show you the side view. We're not going to use any props for this one. You're going to interlace your hands at your back. All right? So like we did in the earlier video as well, the shorter one, the palms are always pressing together. So we're not splaying the palms open. You're always pressing your palms together, especially when they're interlaced behind you. Think of shoulder blades squeezing inwards to each other. All right, so everything is squeezing inwards. This might lift your chest a little bit, that's okay. But you're actively drawing navel into the spine. Okay, so you don't want to arch too much because you're putting pressure into your lower back. So we're not doing this. As much as you can, we try and neutralize the back. From here, maybe a hip width position between your feet. Okay, so not too close, not too wide, just enough. When you're ready, you can soften your knees here. We are going to fold the body forward. Think of chest onto the thighs. Still pressing the palms together. Drawing the hands up over the head. Last thing you got to do is relax your head. Relax your neck. Go ahead and shake it out if you need to. Bend into the knees as much as you need to. All right? So you don't have to straighten. If that's too much and the attention now moves into the hamstrings, can you soften your knees? Chest is completely draping over your thighs. We're actively pressing the palms together, actively drawing the hands up over the head. Let's stay and breathe here. Relax your head, relax your neck. Breath of one. Breath of two. Take your time. Breath of three. This might feel good. This might feel a lot. Everyone's body is different. Two more big breaths. Just so one last breath here. Now from here, keep your knees soft. You're going to use the strength of your hands to pull the body back up. Release your hands. Shake it up. Okay, so now last stretch for this video. We're going to use a wall. So come on over to a wall space. I'm going to stay exactly where I am. Right hand will begin to extend onto the wall behind me. Now just checking for a moment is really important that your hands are not higher, yeah? So hands are either shoulder height or slightly lesser. If you take it higher, it might be a bit too intense. So we start off in shoulder height or take it down a little bit more for less pressure, okay? So now from here, you're gonna look away from your right hand. So already in this position, you might be feeling a lot into the shoulders. You can stay here. If you need a little bit more stretch, left palm presses into the wall in front of you. And you're gonna start to rotate the body towards the left. So you might even walk the foot out. So your lower body starts to face the front, okay? As your upper body, you're working into that right shoulder, left hand presses into the wall to give you a deeper stretch if you need it. If you don't need it, come back into neutral. Your feet can be pointing out towards the side, okay? So wherever you are, just three breaths here. We're not gonna do this for too long, but keep your breaths nice and full. Breath of one. Breath of two. This is really good, especially if you're hunched over your computer the whole day. Last big breath here. And gently release, face the wall. Just turn over to the other side. Okay, so now I'm gonna work into the left side, extending left hand behind you. I'm gonna come slightly forward. So left hand extends behind you. Again, checking the hand is not too high. Just demonstrating why this is important. If your hand is too high, you might be injuring your shoulder, yeah? So just be mindful here. Keep it at shoulder height or slightly lower, okay? So from here, 
This is where we start to press into that right palm. You can stay exactly here if this is enough for you. All right, if you have the range or if you need a bigger stretch here, go ahead, press into the right palm, begin to turn the body to face the front. Okay, this is enough, you can stay here. This is enough for me. So everyone's shoulder is different. In fact, it may also be different between the right and the left side. Okay, wherever you are, let's stay and breathe. Three breaths here. Breath of one. Slow it down, breath of two. We take just one more big breath here. And start to release. Face the wall. And just shake it out for a moment. Release all the stretch that you've done. Make any movement in your body. Last big breath here. Shake it out. And that's it for today. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining me. I hope you feel good and you feel energized. So have a great day and enjoy exploring the rest of M Nation.